Hi, I'm Allison Davidson for CTV. Today, our society is more connected than ever. With the push of a button, we now have the luxury of instant communication. The problem with this, our communication never stops, inhibiting the most dangerous of activities, driving. Texting and driving has become one of the biggest problems among drivers young and old. So today we are here to see how these young people feel about texting and driving. Is it safe, dangerous, and how would they feel if te South Carolina had a law against texting and driving? How do you feel about texting and driving? I do it all the time and I love it. <laughs> How would you feel if South Carolina had a law against texting and driving? Well, I'm from California, so they already do. It sucks because I've gotten several tickets for it. How do you feel about texting and driving? I don't text and drive because it's dangerous. I'm afraid I'll get in an accident. <laughs> it's true. How would you feel if South Carolina had a law against texting and driving? I think it would be smart because you never know what other people are doing in the car. How do you feel about texting and driving? Um, I'm not for it. I mean, when I'm driving, I don't ever text and drive, but if I stop and park somewhere or I'm at a light or something, I'll text while I'm not driving, but I'm not for it. I'm against it. How would you feel if South Carolina had a law against it? I'd be in favor of it. Um, I feel like they should do something about it. There's a lot of deaths from texting and driving. How do you feel about texting and driving? Um, I don't think it's a good idea, but sometimes it's important. I text at like a stoplight or a stop sign, but never like while my car's in motion. How would you feel if South Carolina had a law against texting and driving? Uh, I think it'd be a really good idea, but I think it'd be really hard to enforce because I mean, you could be doing anything in your car. How do you feel about texting and driving? Uh, I do it a lot, but it's probably not a good thing. How would you feel if South Carolina had a law against texting and driving? New Jersey already does. I don't know about it, so I'll do the same thing here. According to the National Safety Council, 200,000 car crashes occur every year because of texting and driving. 30 states already have a ban against this raging war, but to this state, South Carolina does not. Recently, however, Mount Pleasant has been considering a law against texting and driving. Is this the first step towards a hands-free South Carolina? For CTV, I'm Allison Davidson.